I've decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and not make it a welding a trailer. I'm going to go ahead and cut uh, these rings off. I'm going to use this for a fire pit. So right now I'm going to just strip everything down and get it ready to um, extend the sides about six inches so that they go closer to um, where an actual fender would go and stuff. So um, should make just a little over five foot by eight foot trailer. Uh, we got the uh, tires swapped out with the uh, good ones that we had on the old car. Um, so anyway, what I've decided to do is just cut all the extra stuff off. Um, and then I'm just going to get one sheet of plywood. And uh, the, you know, outdoor marine grade plywood. And put that down on there. And that will give you your extra two inches on each side to make it a full 4 by 8 trailer. That's a big one. He looks like he would hurt. Okay, now it's just a bunch of grinding. I'm sorry about cutting this video a little bit short. I do not have any video of the light brackets that we made. We just cut some 6 inch, 12 inch pieces of angle iron off, welded them to the back, and bolted in some Harbor Freight lights. Ended up selling the trailer for about $300. Turned out pretty nice. It's It was originally going to be for the father-in-law to haul his golf cart on. Um, he wanted us to make a trailer for that, and it was just perfect to fit one golf cart on, and he could have used it to haul it back to Indiana but he decided to leave it here, so we ended up just selling the trailer. Anyway, uh, just another idea. Took some buddy's stuff they had in their backyard for 100 bucks and made $200 off of it with a little bit of work. Well, not quite 200 because I had to buy the plywood um, and the lights. 150 bucks, 170 bucks. So just get outside, do something, and just leave us some comments below and tell us what you make on the weekends or what you do. As always, we thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.